Hi guys, it's tablenews.com and I'm here with the iPhone 6 Plus. It's the very first tablet launched by Apple on September 9th. As you know, they launched the iPhone 6 with a 4.7 inch diagonal and the iPhone 6 Plus, a tablet with a 5.5 inch screen. This model sells for $299 on contract in USA and I mean the 16 gigabyte version, of course, or you can buy the 64 gigabyte one for $399 on contract or finally the 128 gigabyte version for $499. This is it. This is the very first Apple tablet. It's called the iPhone 6 Plus and today you're going to see its unboxing here at tablenews.com. It comes in silver, gold or space gray. It has a very discreet box. It's almost mysterious and frankly speaking a bit ugly. As you can see there is the silhouette of the phone here. It says nothing. iPhone 5, 6, 7, 8, nothing. Just iPhone. Okay, let's see what's inside this ugly and mysterious box. This is a 5.5 inch handset with a Retina HD screen, by the way. As usual, we have the bunch of manuals and the stickers to go with the iPhone 6 Plus. Plus the obvious metal key that you'll use to remove the nano SIM tray. Let's put all of this aside. And inside we got the usual lightning USB cable, a charger. It's not the UK version, it's the international version of the charger with two prongs. And finally the EarPod headset that hasn't changed at all from the iPhone 5 onwards. Okay, let's leave the box aside for now and let's insert the nano SIM here and start up the device. This is the nano SIM tray. Let's carefully place this here. It tends to fall off if you don't pay attention and make it vibrate. And here we go. This time we get the on off button on the side instead of the top and the volume buttons are now pill shaped and more inserted into the case. And by the way, we still have the touch ID here in the home button area. The proximity sensor and the camera have been reversed, their places have been switched. And at the back there is a camera that protrudes for the case. I've uh, seen on the web that people are complaining about this. It doesn't uh, stand out as much as I thought it would, so it's actually okay. So iPhone 6 Plus booting up for the first time here at tablenews.com. This is a 5.5 inch screen with a polarizer, a Retina HD, in this case it's Full HD. It's an IPS panel with a 1920 over 10, 1080 pixels. It has a contrast ratio of 1300 to 1. Inside the phone you'll find an Apple A8 64-bit dual-core processor with the M8 Apple co-processor for motion. Let's select English. Let's start up the process of setting up the device and let's connect to our Wi-Fi network. So here we go. And we're back. Taking a few minutes to activate it. At the back there's an 8 megapixel camera, an iSight cam with 1.5 uh, micron pixels, set up as new iPhone, sign in with the Apple ID, which I'm going to do right now, but hiding my account, so I won't get the same leaks as the celebrities who lost their photos. And here we go. Terms and conditions, we agree with everything and I can't wait to see the home screen on this huge screen. Speaking of the back camera, as I said, 8 megapixels and it has a special focus pixels and f2.2 aperture. The really nifty thing about this device is that it comes with optical image stabilization. The iPhone 6 doesn't have it, the iPhone 6 Plus has it, so that's cool. There's a 1.2 megapixel front camera. Touch ID is still here and we have a nano SIM card slot. There is one gig of RAM inside according to the people who research this phone a bit and we have NFC used for Apple Pay payments. We set up Touch ID later, we continue from this point, we don't quite need a passcode just yet. Send diagnostics, we're being friendly with developers and using the standard view. Okay, so this is it. A few hints on how to use display zoom 
and this is the iPhone 6 Plus home screen finally. Inside there is a battery with a capacity of 2915 mAh, it should be good enough for 24 hours of 3G talk time. Ok, so more things to mention about this device, its edges are rounded, so it seems that not only Sony learned that, the Sony Xperia handsets were rectangular and they cut into your palm, this time both the Sony and Apple models have been rounded on the edges so they're nice to hold for a long time. I have to say that this device is lighter than I expected and also thinner, it measures 7.1mm in thickness and weighs 172 grams, although it's so well balanced that you don't feel one gram out of place. It combines metal with glass with plastic bands at the back and uh, as you can see power button on the side this time, volume button spill shaped, rounded case and as I said the front camera has the sensor and front camera switched around. The camera protrudes but not as much as I expected and back to the battery for a bit it should give you about 14 hours of HD video playback. This model also comes with a barometer, gyroscope, ambient light sensor and it also has uh, nice features as I said we have optical image stabilization this is the maximum brightness and since we are connected to Wi-Fi after all let's access tabletnews.com and take the device for a spin not the fastest in the world usually Safari is fast at least it loaded the whole content scrolling around superb screen it really gets your eye and now landscape mode this is tabletnews.com Ok, as you can see we can also check out the home screen in landscape mode and a variety of applications will divide the screen into two panes like the notes, mail and a few more that you'll see in the full review in a couple of days. Now let's check out the camera. So we got the usual panorama, we got square, photo, video, slow-mo and time-lapse. You can also do 200 and uh, 40, apparently it got stuck for a bit, you can also do 140 frames per second uh, slow-mo video capture, which is kind of cool. We'll be back in a few days with our detailed impressions, I'm especially curious about the speakers, about the battery life and how well this device handles Bioshock for example. This is it from tabletnews.com, hope you like the unboxing and the iPhone 6 Plus will be here for a few days for testing. By the way, I hope it doesn't bend, I've seen people going viral over this when bending the phone. It looks bendable to be honest, but I won't try it. That's it from us, bye bye.